Hi everybody, so today we're going to talk about how you can crop images using Python and we're going to be using OpenCV, great uh, image processing library to do that. So let's get started. So what exactly is image cropping? You might hear people talk about cropping an image or um, something like that. So here's what it really is. Let's say we have this image of a bird here and if we wanted to just kind of have the the get rid of some of the parts of the image that we really didn't care that much about maybe we just wanted the bird and we didn't want all the branches and everything um, then we would decide to crop a certain area of the image and what that really means is keep that area and get rid of everything else and so after the crop we would end up with a new image that looks something like this. Now before you do anything with images and especially editing images it's important that you understand image dimensions and image coordinates. So let's talk a little bit about image dimensions. Every image has a height and a width and those are measured in pix pixels. So this image has a certain number of it's a certain number of pixels wide and a certain number of pixels high. Now with that, we then have a coordinate system and this is a little different than what you may be familiar with from math. The coordinate system here starts in the upper left of the image. So the origin or the starting point for the X and the Y axis is the upper left. And so it looks something like this. It again is measured in pixels. So upper left is zero width or X is zero and zero height or Y. So we have an X and a Y coordinate system, but remember that it starts in the upper left. You may be familiar in math with it starting in the lower, lower left. Now in each case on the axis, the X axis uh, increases from the left to the right. And so the very rightmost coordinate, this upper right corner right here, the upper right corner of the image would be whatever the pixel width was. So let's say this had a thousand pixels, then it would be a thousand comma zero. So the X would be a thousand in that case and zero. And let's say the Y was 500. I know that's not accurate for this picture, but um, this would then be zero comma 500. So Y increases from the origin, zero, zero in the upper left to the maximum of y in the um, uh, for how for the height of the picture so we have x is the width the x-axis is we're dealing with width the y-axis we're dealing with height and then over here this point right here would be the same as width comma height now um, technically there's some there we're off by a pixel because we're or we're origin zero um, so technically this would actually be width minus one, height minus one, width minus one, and height minus one. But hopefully this illustrates um, in a simple way what we're talking about. All right, so now um, this is basically what we're going to do to do this in Python. We're going to load the image. We're going to get the dimensions of the image we're going to determine what we want cropped and in our case instead of cropping a specific area on the image we're just going to crop um, a certain height and width off of each edge of the image but you don't have to do it this way you can actually just have a very specific region that you want to keep and then you want to get rid of the rest of the image We'll create this new image based on the dimensions. We'll write out the new image. And so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to be doing this using PyCharm, um, PyCharm Community Edition. PyCharm is uh, a product by JetBrains. It's, the Community Edition is free. It's a great 
integrated development environment for Python development. So I'm importing CV2, which is o the OpenCV library, and I am going to start out by just loading the image. And let me show you the image first. So let's just double click on this image. I have it in my local folder. So you can see here's our bird image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock off a few hundred pixels on the top and the bottom and on the left and a little bit more on the right. So I'm going to try to just get it down to this. Now, you could take an image editor or anything that will display pixels of an image and and actually find exactly where you wanted to crop this. But often in image processing in Python, you're doing mass updates where you may be always removing a certain amount from the border. That's kind of the use case that I've been dealing with recently. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But you could apply you could apply other crop strategies to this. All right, so let's go to PyCharm here. And let's open up our Python code. And we're just going to start by loading this image. So we'll just say image equals our image gets assigned CV2 IM read and because I have it locally I'm not going to deal with paths or anything and I'll just say bird.jpg and now we have the image loaded now we can get the dimensions of the image which we're going to need in this case because I don't care how big the image is I just want to um, crop the edges off of it Again, you may have a different case. I want to find the height of the image, and that is found in the dimensions. Um, dimensions is going to return a list, and so uh, list of coordinates, and we'll we'll do the height, and then the width. Now, you may notice something right off the bat is that we're usually dealing with width first. And in this, when when the data comes back from shape, from the shape call, it's actually got in the first element of the list is going to be the height, not the width, like you might be used to. Because we always we always talk about row column or x y. In this case, it's y x, and that's a that can be a little bit confusing. So if you get some weird results, you might just check that. All right, um, now before I go ahead and crop the image, let's just go ahead and stop the program right here. I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna put print halt, but what I'm really gonna do is set a breakpoint here. And in the debugger, this is a great thing about using an integrated development environment. You certainly could do this in something like Jupyter Notebooks, but I really like having the ability to um, run the code and debug into it and see exactly what's going on. So I am going to go ahead and just choose debug. And let's just see what we have. So we have an image here and you can see here it is. It's, a, it's, a it's basically just a big array of data. So it's taken, it's taking, taken every pixel and it's turned it into a series of data points and you'll notice the height in our image is 1280 and the width is 1920 again these are in pixels right so um, there's our dimensions so what I really know is how high and how wide it is and so now if I want to crop if I want to crop this I just simply tell it which parts of that set of data I want to retain. That's really all you need to do. And this is a really great um, advantage of working with images in Python because you're able to actually just reach right into the data that represents the image and make changes. And so, for example, I'm going to say I want you to crop in um, or crop down 200 pixels and then whatever your height is minus 200. So in other words, come down 200 and up 200 and then 
come in from the left 200 and I'm going to come in a little bit more than 200 because our bird actually isn't centered. So come in 400 pixels. And that's it. That does that does the crop. Let's get a good variable name here. And then we can write this image out. Um, OpenCV has a I am right. And we'll just say cropped bird. Oops. Cropped bird dot JPEG. And it will just write that data out for us. And so let's just run this and then we'll look at the image that resulted and see if it worked. So let's go ahead and run this program. And you'll notice it was very, very fast. Um, let's see, we missed we missed an argument here somewhere, so we'll need to we'll need to address that. Oh, we have to tell it what image we want to write out. I'll bet you already figured that out. But this is the actual image data. So let's go ahead and try that again. Remember, you learn by making mistakes. So uh, there we go. All right, so we have this cropped bird image. Let's look at our original. There's our original, and here's our cropped image. And sure enough, it cropped it out. Now, the images look like they're the same size, but they aren't. It's just that the editor is always um, doing that. And you can actually see that here. 1920 by 1280, 24-bit color. The crop bird is 1320 by 880, still 24-bit color. So that's all there is to cropping images in Python. It's very easy to do, and it is very fast. So here's the code again. I'll just put it up on the screen. Um, again, we, we read the image. We get the dimensions, and in this case, I'm trying to trim off a certain amount from the height and the width, but you could jump straight to the crop that, that cropped image equals or it gets assigned and put in your dimensions there. And I apologize that the code wrapped a little bit here. So be careful with that if you happen to copy the code in. And then we write out the resulting image. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And I hope you enjoyed um, this and learned a little bit about images, dimensions, um, and cropping in particular using OpenCV and Python. Thanks.